All right, welcome everyone. So this is our 33rd live stream geometry. And so last session, we did some problems from the Taiwan IMO training uh, in 2018 or in 2019 and 2020. I didn't even know this, but the very next week they, they released the, the 2021 problems. So today I'm gonna to go through four of those and two problems from previous years. Um, but there's some really, really nice problems. Uh, so with that, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, they're also very hard, so we'll see how many of them we end up uh, solving. But here is the first one. All right. So um, P is an arbitrary point in triangle ABC. So let's draw a triangle. Yeah, sorry. I'm actually using the internet from a hotel, so it um, might be a little bit slower. So P is an arbitrary point. And we, we draw AP, BP, and CP. And we see where they meet the triangle. Uh, this is a little bit slower on my computer today. Sorry about that. Um, and they meet it at D, E, and F. And All right. And then we draw the circumcircles of A, B, C, and A, E, F. Let me do that just a second. And um, so M is the midpoint of BC. Right. And S is where the two circles meet. So you guys might see that this is kind of like a generalization of Sharky Devil. It looks a little bit like it, doesn't it? Um, so when P is the in center, this is Sharky Devil. And uh, SD meets the circumcircle at X. And XM meets it at Y. Uh, so first I'm just gonna draw those lines. And we wanna show AY is tangent to the circumcircle of AEF. All right. So with all the intersections, maybe it's projective geometry. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, sorry, this should be this should be x. What did I do here? This should be x, and that should be y. SD meets at x, and xm meets at y, and we want to show a y is tangent. Yeah, a really interesting problem because there's a p can be any point in triangle ABC. So there's like a lot of flexibility. And when P is the end center, we have Sharky double. Um, I don't want to make it look like SD passes through F. I think that looks good. All right, so if we want to show AY's tangent, um, maybe we should project through A onto this circle. Um, so if we project 
y through a, we just get a. Uh, if we project b and c through a, we get e and f. Um, and if we project b through a, we get p. So maybe we could try to show um, Maybe we should let y a intersect bc at a point. Um, maybe extend ef and y a. I'll try that. I wonder if ef, y a, and bc concur. No, they don't. It's close. Um, yeah. So they don't necessarily concur on BC. Um, Well, actually, we want to show the cross ratio y x b c is the cross ratio a p f e. I think that might be the best way to go here. Actually, x doesn't go to e. Oh, oh yeah, no, you're right. X x doesn't go to p. Can you name the uh, intersection of y a and b c? Yes. Maybe we can show the cross ratio of G, D, B, C is equal to A, E, P, F. Yes, I think that might be a good idea. Um, hold on just one second. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, um... Uh, uh, sorry about that. Um, my, my, my call, my call. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, so um, if I could uh, prove that uh, the triangle AF is, is similar to uh, YBC. So uh, AFE uh, is similar to YBC. Yeah, so we got the problem, right? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me check that out. But, um, so... Is that, um, let's see, so A, F, E, and Y, B, C? Yeah, um, we will use the uh, ratio. We just need to prove that uh, A, F over A is, is equal to uh, uh, Y, B over Y, C. Ah, I like that. All right, and, and once we prove that, um then that shows uh that it's tangent i get because 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 that would mean angle y a e is equal to angle y a c uh is equal to angle y b c um and and uh yeah so if we could prove they're similar that would solve it i see what you're saying yeah so uh we're gonna Proof that um, uh, YB uh, on YC over YC is uh, equal to AF over over A. Yeah, e. uh, yeah. We 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 have that uh, YB over YC is equal to uh, uh, what what is uh, the the YM uh, cross, um, cut uh, the circle X. Ah uh, yes, um, it's equal to X X. Uh, XC XB over XA uh, X, uh, B over XC. How do we know that? Do we know that it's a harmonic quadrilateral? Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we, we have uh, the dilemma that, um, uh, yeah, we have the dilemma that, uh, if, um, uh, BC cut XY at uh, the point M, 
So um, MB over MC is equal to uh, uh, BY uh, ah. times BX over CY times CX. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, MC is uh, equal to uh, uh, MC, MB. Okay. Uh, yeah. So 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 because because B Y X and B C intersect at M, then B Y over C Y is B X over C X. Um, okay. So hold on, just a sec. Um, so yeah, I I I I can see how to prove that using trigonometry. Um, Is that from the ratio lemma? The, the ratio lemma? Yeah. So I don't know how to explain the lemma. Uh, maybe it's just similar triangles. Let's see, because because um because we have uh by over bm is is cx over mx. And then we have CY over CM is, is BX over MX. And, and I think if you combine the two, you get what you want. Okay, so yeah, I think that solves it. Um, wait, so we've shown, actually, so we've shown BY over CY is BX over CX. And we wanna show that that equals um, AF over AE, right? Yeah, um, the dilemma is that, um, if you have uh, the uh, uh, quad 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 uh, cyclic uh, mm -hmm. A B C D and uh, A C cut uh, B D at uh, the point uh, uh, M, mm -hmm. so we have that uh, M A over M uh, C is uh, equal to uh, A D times A B over C D times C B. That's the lemma. Okay. Ultimately, we want to show it's equal to AF over AE, right? Like eventually we want to show, so, so we know BY over CY is BX over CX, right? And we want to show that's equal to AF over AE, right? Uh, or, or, or you said- U and V are in the points. On circles. Uh, uh, what and what? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me delete these extra lines because I'm. Um, I think we could probably solve this without it. Um, let me just say. Okay. So, so first, let me first let me write what we have. Um, so. We have um, by over bm is equal to um, uh, cx over xm, and we also have uh, cy over cm is bx over xm. And then, um, and then since uh, BM equals CM, uh, uh, that means that um, BY over CY uh, is equal to uh, Bx over Cx. Um, no, no, actually, I mean Cx over Bx. I think that's right. Um, let, let me say that we're dividing the two. So. All right, so that's the first step. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I missed a couple of things in the chat. Um, oh, you want to extend Y to meet BC again. Um, uh, 
let's see, S, if U, V, well, what are U and V? But there are, uh, they are I value three points on the uh, same circle with B and C. Uh, I wrote the lemma. Oh, okay. Issue. Yeah, so, so I know Menelaus. Um, oh, oh, if, if UV cuts BC at K. Uh, we can use the lemma for D and M. And we use SEVA and uh, spiral similarity, spiral similarity. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to make P look like it's on a circle. Okay, so. Let me look at the lemma. Oh yeah, the, the lemma is just Menelaus, right? Actually, it doesn't come from Menelaus. Oh really? Okay. It comes from similarities. Oh. Uh, so you, uh, hold on, sorry. You and V are any two points. Okay, so, um, so, so, so are you letting U and V be uh, uh, A and Y or S and Y? Uh, at first, we use it uh, to prove that BY over CY equals to CX over BX, but you did you prove that? Then ah. we will use SX and BC. S, X, B, and C. Okay. Yeah, we will use these four points. Okay. So, so S, B over S, C. Um, so S, B over S, C is S, F over S, E. That's spiral similarity, right? Um, and and uh, let's see. So, so, so SB over SC times XB over XC is equal to uh, DB over DC. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. After uh, that, we will write the ratio SB over SC using spiral similarity as uh, BF over CE. And then we will use SEVA. Then we are done. All right, I like it. Okay, so we have, um, oops, one just a sec. And then by spiral similarity at S, um, we know SB over SC, um, is S F over S E no, other way B F over C E B F over C E? Okay, yeah, that's better. Um, all right. And then we can apply Cheba. Um, okay. So this is BY over CY. This is BF over CE. Um, uh, it, it looks like P lies on the circle again. Let me uh, change that. Don't want to confuse the viewers. There we go. Okay. And uh, by Cheva, we have AF over BF. Yeah, okay. So, DD over DC. And then uh, combining the above. Um, so yeah, let me make some more room.
Yeah, that's a nice lemma right here. I like it. I think I've seen it a while back, but it just refreshed my memory. I'll have to think through the proof of it. Okay, so so combining uh, the above three, we have um, AF over AE equals YB over YC. Uh, I think that's what it was, let me. So that means uh, triangle AFB is similar uh, to triangle YBC. Um, since BYC. All right. Oops. See how this comes out. And, uh, and once we know that, we have, then it's just angle chasing because um, let me see. So, so angle YAE um, angle YAE equals angle YAC equals angle YBC is equal to um, angle AFE. So that means that uh, YA is tangent to that circle. All right, this is a very um, nice solution. Like it, it teaches you a lot, especially using that lemma, using Chavez theorem, spiral similarities, it's pretty nice. All right, thanks for the handout, Sirdar. I'll have to check it out after uh, the session. Um, so I will move on to the next problem. Um, hold on one second. All right, so this is also 2021. Um, so we have a triangle ABC. Um, with circumcircle omega. All right. And X is a point. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to want to make AB longer than AC because X is a point on AB um, such that XB is equal to XC. So yeah, let me draw the perpendicular bisector BC. And so this is point X, um, but we also draw uh, the angle bisector. So it's gonna meet it. Yeah, so what I could do, sorry. Uh, let, let, let me draw the center of the circle. So um, let O be the center. center of it and whoops and i'm going to draw the midpoint of arc bc which is just this point right here um so so yeah this is this is the angle bisector so i'm, I'm reading ahead a little bit so m is the uh m is going to be the midpoint of bc Oh no, M is not the midpoint of BC, sorry. M is this point right here. All right. Uh, P is the point on BC such that AP is tangent. Okay, so, so we're gonna wanna draw the tangents to the circle at um, both um, A and C, it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna wanna move this a little bit. Um, so 
this is P and Q is on VX. Okay. So um, let me shrink the, the figure a little bit just to make some room. So sorry. Okay. So this is going to be point Q up here where those two intersect. Uh, we want to show A, B, uh, C. Wait, it's something I didn't draw, right? Hold on a sec. So X slips correct. It intersects B, C. Bottom point. Oh, I think I switched D and M, right? Yeah, this should be D and uh, this should be M. There we go. And then if I do that, then I shouldn't draw this line. Uh, I should draw uh, DX, okay. And sorry about that. Let me let me shrink it a little bit more. We want to show A, B, uh, C, M, and P, Q are concurrent. Um, did I do everything right? I'm not sure if I did. So, so P, I think I drew that right. Q, uh, oh, whoops, we want Q to be down there. So not point E. Um, sorry about this. Yeah, my slow internet is, is driving me crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for bearing with me while I um, use the internet at this hotel. So, hide the extra stuff and oops uh, so AP is tangent and I only want to draw CQ there we go okay we want to show uh, A, B, C, M, and P, Q are concurrent. That's kind of hard to see with this diagram. Let's move things around a little bit. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw the lines, but just a second. Let me... Yeah, if I draw a flatter triangle, it might be easier to see. I don't want to make it look like BC pass through O. So yeah, like this. Okay, so we want to show A, B, P, Q, and C, M are concurrent. Um, I often think to SARGs, so let's see. Uh, can we use the SARGs theorem to show they're concurrent? I think it's uh, nice to name the point of intersection A, B, and C, M. Okay. All right. 
So yeah, let's see, if we were to use this R, so we want to show that ACP and BMQ are a uh, perspective. Uh, that doesn't look that easy, really. Uh, maybe there's another way to think about it. Hmm. Yeah, now this args looks hard here. So yeah, MB equals MC. Um, maybe we could try the radical axis theorem, although I'm not sure. See, what if I drew like this circumcircle of CPQ? No, I don't think that would help too much. Uh, hmm. Sorry. Maybe the circumcircle of CMQ. R A C E E. Tick link. Uh, A A C P E. Looks like it might be. Yeah. No. Draw this circle. Let's see. Is X uh, DPE cyclic? X D P E. Uh, no. Hmm. A B O P. That's interesting. Give it a try. The OPE is not. Uh, there's probably some some cyclic quadrilateral somewhere here, right? I don't know that for sure, but just a guess. Maybe BXDM. No. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, is CD, uh, let's see. Uh, how could CD, oh, is CM tangent to it? Uh, I think there's a little bit of a gap there. Let's see. Yeah, not necessarily. So yeah, not, not always. Uh, Uh, I'm still trying to think about this arg. So if we have triangles ABM and CPQ, uh, hmm. maybe we can let PE intersect XD at Q prime and then show that Q prime C is tangent. I think that could work. Um, hold on a sec. Let me just think about 
one more idea I had before we do that. And then I'm gonna write that one up. Um, okay, so. You see, hmm. yeah, I, I still wonder if this args is possible. I'm going to try that for now. Um, so, okay, so yeah, we want to show E, P, and Q are collinear. Uh, I'm going to try Hakan's idea. So. Uh, let EP meet the exit Q prime. Um, then show Q prime C as tangent. Hmm. So A, B, hmm. so yeah, maybe we could use Ricard's theorem. I'm not totally sure. Maybe we could use Pascal's theorem. There's a couple different ideas here. What if we try pass a degenerate form of Pascal's theorem? So we have like, uh, a, A, B, C, M. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too good at using a degenerate form of Pascal's, but what if we had like A, A, B, M, C, C, uh, or something like that? Let, let, let me write it out. I wonder if I, I kind of like Pascal's uh, notebook. Sorry. Uh, let's see. If, if a, so yeah, I'm just writing out Pascal's here. Uh, um, so A A meets B C at P. Uh, A M. Uh, hmm. Let me write this a little differently. A, A meets B, C, a P. Uh, a, M meets C, C, we haven't done that, but B, M, hmm. Intersection of B, B and A, M is on the same line, interesting. And and uh, B B is kind of symmetric to C C, so maybe there's some symmetry going on. C and that point are collinear from Pascal. Uh, uh, what's collinear? E, E, and the intersection of B, B, and A, M. P, B, and A, M. So, hmm. 
Can you name the intersection of BB and AM? Yes. Uh, hold on a sec. So, Um, we'll figure out the diagram eventually. Uh, one second. The, uh, it doesn't seem collinear. No, it, it does. This, this point lies on that line, right? Um, so yeah, I, I think you mean this point right here is collinear with uh, P and Q prime. Actually, you know that? so yeah, let me, um, sorry. We can prove from Pascal that if P and E are collinear. So basically, you can show that. Um, so maybe I should redefine Q. OK, so I'll let F be this point. And um, Q. Yeah, so we call that Q prime. He is uh, going crazy. Or, or, oh, the diagram's going crazy? Yeah. Can you show E appear? Oh, it E. Appears. Was there a point E? Yeah, intersection of A, B, and C, M. Oh. <laughs> it's really well, far away. Yeah, this is hard. I'll, I'll have to just make it make the figure really small. So, so yeah, that point disappeared. Um, there we go. That looks, doesn't look so bad. Yeah. All right. So it, it turns out that all four of those points um, lie on the same line is, is what you're saying. So what does Pascal show? It shows that P, E, and F are collinear? Yeah. OK. So we want to show that Q prime lies on that. Or yeah, we could just define Q prime to be where um, it intersects that line. And then we want to show Q prime C's tangent. A, A, B, B, C, M. All right. It looks like we can use polars. Use polars to prove it? Yeah. Um, so I guess we could like try showing C lies on the polar Q prime. Well, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Let me just check who's on. Hey, Rodrigo, I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining. Um, All right, A, B, C, M, and yeah, so I like this. So we want to show Q prime C is tangent. Um, uh, 
I wonder if, uh, no, I was gonna say maybe Q prime CB is similar to Q prime XC, but that's clearly not true. So basically we wanna show, cause, cause FB is tangent. So we wanna show angle Q prime CB is angle FBC. Um, so yeah, there's like a symmetry. Um, I wonder if, I wonder if Q prime BC is similar to BFD. You can do what Hakan says. Uh, okay, Hakan. If you intersect QC prime with AP, it is sufficient to show that D, E, and that point are collinear. All right. Uh, so, Sir Dar, did you say you've solved it, or 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 you just no, mentioned we it? Can, we can we can do what Hakan said. Okay. All right. So that will be point G. Yeah, I wonder if triangle CPG uh, is similar to BDF. Let me check. Well, that, that would mean that ADP would be isosceles, which I don't think is true. Um, Yeah. yeah, I wonder if there's some way we could do similar triangles. Is CPQ prime similar to ADB? Doesn't look, sorry, uh, my computer's going crazy. So, yeah, maybe we should draw the intersection of AC and BM. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd like to try to do similar triangles somehow. So yeah, I guess we could also show that angle um, MBF is MCQ prime. Is MCQ prime similar to MAC? Uh, that would mean, I don't think so, because that would mean Q prime M is tangent also, which is not true. But X, D, and A, P, yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, now, now X and O are really close together. Um, let me just, there we go, kind of like that. You can use cross ratios to show D, G, and E are collinear. Interesting. Um, X is a special point, actually. We didn't use any information about X. Yeah, we need to use something about X, right? Um, B A X E is H G P A. If we show that, that would solve it. What if we project through D? So Okay, yeah, I think that's an interesting idea. Um, Let me check if those cross ratios are both one actually, or negative one. I don't think they are, but I will check it. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so we have to use point X somehow. But yeah, are you sure there's not a way to just like use Pascal's again? So like CC, well, yeah, we still have to use point X. I think that's that's always the problem. Maybe we should let MX, um, so we could let M prime be the antipode of M. Um, and then try to use Pascal's. So X is the intersection of M, M prime and, and A, B, right? Um, and so, So we have AM and BC. So MAC, MACC, M prime ACC, MB. I wonder, let me try that. So, um, so we want to see where CC. Um, uh, hmm. 
prime m I'm just trying out stuff with Pascal's. Uh, M prime M and A, uh, A B. And then A M and B C. Let's see. Is XG parallel to BC? Ah, it looks like it might be. I think so. Yes. I think that will be quite helpful. So yeah, it certainly looks like XG is parallel to BC. Um, so it's better to define Q prime as uh, intersection of the tangent at C and PF. The tangent because at C and uh, PF? Okay, yeah, so yeah. we can use the parallelity. Okay, so um, so so I'll delete point H for now. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. And uh, so we want to show X D and Q prime are collinear. Um, yeah, but we can't define Q prime using Pascal. So that's the only thing. Um, Cause yeah, Q. Um, We know D, G, and E are collinear by Pascal. And then, and then what? Hmm. Uh, D, G, and X, G. Uh, D, G, and X, G. Yeah. It, so I don't think D, G is parallel to A, B, right? That would be too good to be true, I think. But I'm not sure. Can you, DG, can you uh, in, draw the line DGE? Oh, okay. I think these informations are enough. So, I uh, couldn't so prove it, but it seems enough. Okay, so, so 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 let me understand this better. So first, you define Q prime uh, to be the intersection of the tangent with this line, right? Yeah. Uh, and then um, Pascal's uh, CCM AAB uh, shows that D, G, and E are collinear. Okay, and then once we know D, G, and E are collinear, um, then that, that basically just solves the problem. Okay, let me uh, start writing it up. Oops, sorry. So, oh, once we know D, G, and E are collinear. Um, let, let me delete M prime. I'm, I'm just going to start writing up 
kind of what we've said. Um, so, we still have to show x, d, and q prime are plenty. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. And yeah, that does seem let's see, how do we show that? Yeah, x d and q prime. Okay, so we want to show those are collinear. Um, that's kind of the same. So I'm just thinking. We use similar triangles to show it. I wonder, so uh, we, we have to show those are collinear, but if we let it intersect the, okay, that didn't work as I thought. Whoops. Hmm. Uh, B, G, B, and Q cyclic. Yeah, let, let me check for cyclic quadrilaterals. So you were, you were thinking a B, G, P, Q. B, G, P, Q. Okay. Sorry. E. I said D, D, P, B, G, P, Q. Q. Uh, I don't think so. It looks close. Um, oh, uh, yeah, it's just off slightly. But yeah, it seems like it should be an easier proof to show that Q prime B and X are collinear. So we know XCB is equal to XBC. I wonder if that helps at all. So we want to show XCQ prime is equal to XBF. I don't think those triangles are similar. I guess it's possible. Um, yeah, no, that's unlikely because XB is equal to XC.
Oh, actually, we know that. Project BAXC through G um, onto BC. Okay. So G goes to P. So we have BP infinity. Ah, BP infinity. And then we want to show BP infinity D. Okay. Oh yeah, no, G doesn't go anywhere, but X goes to the point at infinity, right? So B goes to B, A goes to P, X goes to the point at infinity, and E goes to D. Um, so yeah, right, we've proven that, that E, G, and D are collinear, I think, right? Um, and we wanted to show B, A, X, E, uh, what did you write earlier? Is, is H P G A? Oh, or oh yeah, we, we, we erased H. Um, no, I don't think we we've showed that. Do you guys want to move on to the next problem and come back to this later? Or do you want to keep trying it? Yeah. All right. I'm going to move on to the next one, and then uh, we can come back to it at the next end. All right. Uh, this problem looks a little bit easier. All right. So um, I, I, I wonder if we actually did this one before, to be honest. So. Um, we have a triangle ABC, and then we draw the uh, mid segment. Um, so I'll call it DE. Um, and we let it intersect the circumcircle at P and Q. So I guess it doesn't really matter which one's P or Q, the problem will still work. So this is uh, P and this is Q. And the tangent to A intersects BC at P. So yeah, it looks like this one was also 2021. So I guess it's just an easier 2021. Um, oh, whoops, I, I named it. Sorry, let me name this one P and the other one Q. And then draw the tangent at A and our sex BC at T. Um, and we want to show angle BPQ equals angle PPA. This looks a lot like um, isogonal conjugates, maybe. So there's a couple of different things I'm thinking. Isogonal line lemma, isogonal conjugates, um, or maybe even just plain old similar triangles. So, so what would happen if we use the isogonal line lemma? So let's see, PQ intersects AB at D. Um, and AP intersects BQ. I think I'd have to draw the intersection of AP and BQ. PQ passes through the midpoint of AT. That's a good point. So yeah, that's where it's drawing that. Um, so 
So yeah, I'm just gonna try this for a second. So I guess the problem is equivalent to showing that uh, ATB is equal to BTG. Is that right? Let me check. I don't know about that. Where did I go wrong in using a sign on my lemma? So FT squared is a uh, good point. It's FT times FQ. And That solves it. So, so FT squared is, is FA squared is FP times FQ. So angle FAP is equal to angle AQP. Um, angle TQP is equal to angle FTP. Ah, okay, that, that's a, a nice and quick solution. So I'll write it up. All right. See how quickly I can uh, write it all up. So, um, so we have DE is parallel to DC, um, and that means that. Uh, DE passes through the midpoint P of a T. All right. And or, or F of a T. And uh, once we know that, we have. Um, FA squared is equal to FP times FQ is equal to FT squared. And and uh, so that means triangle. Um, so we have angle TQP. Um, so, so triangle TFP is similar to triangle, yeah. Um, sorry, this is just bothering me. I'm just going to add an I here. And um, so angle, uh, angle BTQ equals angle two TQF is equal to angle uh, PTF. So BTQ is equal to angle um, PQT. Uh, FQT, uh, which is uh, F, um, which is PTF. which is angle PTA. All right, nice quick one. And so we'll move on to the next problem. This is our fourth problem. Oh, this one looks a little tricky. 
Okay, so we have the in center of an acute triangle. And we draw the feet of the angle bisectors. Uh, or actually we don't draw the feet of them. So, so first we draw the altitude through A. Um, and then um, we let BI and CI intersect it at U and V. And then we draw the circle with diameter AI. Okay, so this is like a sharky devil. Um, let me hide everything to end. I usually find that's easiest. So let me let me first rename those points. That's U. This is V. And then, so the circle with diameter AI, obviously it passes through those two points. Um, and so, yeah, we draw the Sharky devil point, basically the A Sharky devil point. Um, It's right here. Uh, so that's T. Um, and let me draw this point and this point. Uh, so then we draw the circumcircle of TUV. Oops. And it intersects uh, BC and the circumcircle at P and Q. This is Q. Uh, that point is P. And then peak. Uh, oops. PQ intersects it at R. PQ intersects the certain circle of ABC at R. And we want to show that AR is parallel to BC. All right. So obviously we know a lot about point P since it's a Sharky double point. Um, AT um, and BC might intersect on the circle. Yes, good call. Okay, so Jaleel, so showing that will solve the problem because I guess is it probably ends up being an angle chase. Uh, let's see. So we'd want to show is that which okay. All right, so if we could show AT and BC, well, yeah, it's just an angle chase to show AT and BC intersect on that. Well, oh no, okay, maybe it's not easy.
So we want to show the angle that AT makes with BC is the same as angle TUV. Uh, oh, I, I lost this line. Oops. See, so we want to show hmm. Yeah, BIC, yeah, those circles are tangent. Um Okay. Can you make the appear P, Q, and R just focus on the intersection of AT and BC? Okay, yeah. So hide the circle, basically. Yeah, really, we want to show that. And hide P, Q, R. Um, Okay, so, so yeah, really we just want to show HTUV is cyclic. Yeah. And turn lines into, yeah, segment. Oops. So yeah, can we show HTUV is cyclic? Just gonna check. HI is tangent to AI. Uh, yes, so yeah, HI, I think, yeah, so this is from my, my, my Sharky double video. Um, but um, yeah, basically by the radical axis theorem on those two uh, circles, so the circumcircle BIC and, and this circle, uh, and, and the circumcircle ABC, yeah, HI is tangent to that circle. Um, I wonder if we can use power of a point. We want to show HTUV is cyclic. So can we show, well, hold on a sec. If HTUV is cyclic, does that mean CBUV is cyclic? Or no, that would break the symmetry. But HTIF is cyclic, right? So that we know. AI squared is equal to AB times AU. Yes. I like that. That is sufficient. Angle chase. So, so that's just showing angle AIB is equal to angle AUI, and then we're finished. All right. So yeah, we're going to have to add back in those extra points later, but I'm just going to start out with this.
All right, so one second. Oops, what did I just do? Uh, all right, so let me move this, this thing up. Okay, so first, let AT intersect um, BC at H. Yeah, so. And um, we have, um, so, so let M be the midpoint of arc. So, so yeah, first I'm gonna show, or I'll, I'll just refer to my video on the Sharkey devil uh, theorem, but, Um, HI is tangent to um, this the circle AT, the circle with diameter AI. And um, so, so, so angle AIH is, is 90 degrees. Um, yeah, that's not a hard proof. Um, so since angle AIH is 90 and angle ITA is 90, So that means that AI squared is uh, AT times AH. And um, we can also use an angle chase to show AI squared is AB times AU. So, um, so angle I, AUI is angle BUG is 90 minus B over two. And uh, yes, so and then we also have, um, I'll, I'll say IUA, sorry. And then angle AIV is um, is uh, angle IAC plus angle ICA uh, is uh, A over two plus B over two, which is 90 minus C over two. A over two plus C over two. See, um, let me split this into two lines, just in case. It's 90 minus B over two. Sorry. Uh, my computer is freezing up, I'm sorry. And so that means triangle AIV is similar to triangle AUI. 
and then And so um, AB times AU is equal to AI squared is equal to AT times AH. See if that all fits on one line. Did not. And so um, THUV is cyclic. And now we can start adding in some of the other points. So I'm going to draw that circle. Just going to overlap um, some of my work a little bit. Let's see. And, and then once we know that, um, okay, so that means that H equals, let's see, intersect the segment AC. Okay, so, so once we know that, um, then we, we can um, def we can unhide uh, P, Q, and R. All right. And so I, I think Jaleel was saying it's an angle chase from here, right? Um, So we want to show, I get, so it would be the same as showing angle BQT is RQC. Uh, that's one way to do it. I wonder if there's another way. Well, well so, so angle BPQ is half of arc RC plus arc BQ. Um, and yeah, I, I think that might be a good way to go. Um, So Jaleel, what was your idea from here on how to prove it? Angle AR2 is equal to um, angle um, wait, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're really close. I think your idea was right. Um, yes, angle AR2 is equal to angle 8T2 since T A R2 is cyclic. Ah. So ARQ ARQ is equal to angle HTQ. Um, and then we want to show uh, HTQ equals to HPQ is equal to HPQ is equal to RPC. C. And that means that AR is parallel to BC. Very nice. This is a fun one. All right, so I will move on to the next one. Um, so how much longer do we have here? So I, I think we have an hour and a half, right? Um, my time zone's a little different. 
Um, but I think we still have another hour and a half.